Yo, it's Mel from Rap Rankings. To hear the full episode this clip comes from and all the other episodes, stop by raprankings.com or search Rap Rankings on your favorite podcast platform. Track two, Life We Chose, produced by L.E.S. This is the life we chose, the extreme podcast <laughs> life. <sighs> Fuck it is, you know? Like, damn. Well, listen, it's better than any other life. I choose it every time. Flat seven. Wow, the fucking Nostradamus man is here. This album <laughs> is, in Mel's mind, better than Illmatic. Don't, why are you doing this? Start. Why are you putting... No, we're two tracks in. You're already trying to set the stage for them d- d- stringing me up, burning me at the stake. Okay, no, no. There's a lot of album left. Don't don't go running... You're like that... What's that man? John Cavalier. John Hank... John, John Lewis Booth? No, <laughs> not him. The man who... T- Paul Revere. Okay, you run into the... You know, and telling them, you know, Mel, Mel put over Nostradamus over Illmatic. You're going to get them all riled up. Don't believe this man, okay? That's what Paul Revere was doing? He was warning. The British are coming. The British are coming, you know? I mean, he was right, but you would be wrong, okay? You're Nal Revere. <laughs> okay? Don't, don't trust Nal Revere over here. Anyway, what do you think about the life we chose? I think the life we chose is a six plus. Oh God! Damn it. Okay. But I'm gonna say this: I have a lot to say about the life we chose. Actually, okay. The record is my only six plus on the entire album. You know, meaning outside of my takeaways, this is the only record I could potentially see going up one day. Okay. The beat itself opens with these kind of royal sounding triumphant horns. And then when the beat drops, you get a little bass line in there, some strings. There's kind of like nostalgic cinematic sounding feel to it. For sure. Uh, I, I don't feel though the sample here is being done justice by the mixing, the drum programming or the drum sounds that are used here in general. There's just something also weird going on with either the way the drums are interacting with the sample or the way the sample loop comes around, that feels also like a bit off to my ear. I I picked up on that too. I did. I think it's it's in the programming, like you said. It's Yeah, something feels like weirdly off about it. Before we even play, you know what? I'm just going to say this. I actually do like Life We Chose, but not this version. There's another version? That's going to set something up throughout the rest of the review because I have a bunch of times where I'm going to introduce these on songs where I personally don't think they work due to the production. So before we get into that, let's get into the original sample here. It's Fred Wesley and the Horny Horns. (laughs) I thought this was Fred Weasley. I'm like, what the fuck? Okay. No, this is Fred Wesley and the Horny Horns. Peace, Fugue. Okay. Fugue. All right. Uh, this is uh, the album A Blow For Me, A Toot To You. <laughs> These are some funny guys. All right. Uh, check it out, folks. <laughs> Now do you want to play the actual record, Life We Chose? Yeah, sure. 
All right. Let me see. By Nas, right? I see mm-hmm. it different. Okay. I got it's, it's, I, I don't see it in the, in the archival folder, but I got it. I'm prepared. Okay. Here we go. Life We Chose by uh, Nostradamus himself. To my niggas. <laughs> we all we got. Let's hold it down, though, you know? However's gonna go down. This is what we gotta deal with, you know? Yo. It's the life we chose uh, When friends become foes And the dough will get you killed quicker than you know uh, This is the life we chose Bring fake snakes and hoes And the only way out is death or going broke This the life we chose Ain't too many happy endings That's why there ain't too many happy niggas in it And I'll admit it This life is fucked up But yo, but yo This life is the only life I know I uh, know I uh, know uh. Gold bathtubs, making love to my queen Get my back rubbed, Chardonnay rolling up green Statues, marble floors, red paintings on my wall My lifestyle's like the Forbes magazine Closets full of rockets and submachines Take this nigga out to projects and his thug team Yo, we cruise past street lights, ill rides Mr. Chow, both coasts with the most loud toast Calicos, roast y'all folks You hear, it's kind of like, it's almost like stuttery Like it's skipping a beat yeah. or something Like, it's in the programming, for sure it throws me off every time that comes around. I feel you. And that's really what kills my enjoyment of this, because we'll get into the verses in a little bit, but I like both verses. We'll talk about them. But I want you to play the MF Doom remix or blend of Life We Chose. There's a project out there called Nostradumus. <laughs> and I don't know if... I'm not 100% if Doom himself did these blends or these are just, you know, special herbs beats blended with, you know, mostly Nostradamus cuts, but some other stuff too. I'm only bringing these in when I don't like the record. Got it. Because I have them for like damn near this whole album minus like two or three songs. Please tell me there's one for Big Girl. (laughs) Please tell me. There actually is not a Big Girl remix. Uh, okay. You, you like I think cookies maybe just like on Big Girl. That would the way <laughs> maybe the way that he's rapping on Big Girl like wouldn't fit on any Doom beat, <laughs> right? Okay. Maybe Doom himself just figured the song is a lost cause. Maybe the remixer, if Doom didn't actually do this blend tape, was like, "Nah, we're not <laughs> salvaging this one." But right. this is the Nostradumus blend. Of life we chose, which I do give a flat seven. Wow. Alright, here it is. That's what we gotta deal with, you know? Yo, it's the life we chose. Uh, where friends become foes and the door get you killed quicker than you know. Uh, this is the life we chose. Bring fake snakes and hoes, and the only way out is never going broke. This the life we chose. Ain't too many happy endings. That's why there ain't too many happy niggas in it. And I'll admit it, this life is fucked up, but yo, but yo this life is the only life I know. I know. Uh, I know. Uh, uh. Gold bathtubs, making love to my queen. Get my back rubs, Chardonnay rolling up green. Statues, marble floors, red paintings on my wall. My lifestyle's like the Forbes magazine. Closets full of rockets and submachines. Take this nigga out the project and it's stuck team. Yo, we cruise past street lights, ill rides. Mr. Chow, both coasts with the most loud toast. Calicos, roast y'all folks. Keep y'all dying, cause it's hard to fuck around when we dealing with science. My enemies got money, so y'all should watch how I play it. You know what? I like it as a blend like the flow fits yeah the content feels aggressive for the beat though okay like it's not bad i'm not mad at it it's one of the better blends on that nostradumus they're not all that good okay so some of them are (laughs) nostradufus you know you know we're gonna play we're gonna play the ones where at least i feel like they're better than what we got Got it. You know, um, and this is, like I said, the only six plus for me and maybe a good point for me to just talk about the myth, in my opinion, and I've touched on this before, of Nas as a rapper with a bad ear for beats. Oh, we're talking about this now? Okay. I feel like this really started on this album. Now, there are some clunkers on the last one. I am as well. But I feel like more so... 
in like barbershop combos about Jay and Nas once Takeover and Ether were out there, Ear for Beats would frequently come up as a mark against Nas. That was really when that claim was like levied against him. Personally, for me, the stretch from I Am to Stillmatic, there's like questionable production on there for sure. But there's also beats that are good. And, you know, like there's not just like a, a whole album full of like horrible beats. Oh, my God. Why did he choose these? There's a couple that are like, oh, my God, Nas, what are you doing? <laughs> but, you know, I've always felt like that was overstated when it came to Nas. I like a lot of his beats, you know, on obviously Illmatic and It Was Written, but also on Godson, Streets Disciple, Hip Hop Is Dead. There's a lot of good beats on those albums. Uh, Life Is Good, you know, people love these Hip Boy albums, the last three that he did. And they're saying, oh, he's finally course correcting. I don't think it was ever really that big of a, you know, a thing as people made it out to be with Nas's beats. And, you know, this is what I'll say. Like, what really separates Nas and Jay-Z in terms of their ear for beats is that Jay would often turn to super producers. You know, yeah. like, he would go to your... Neptunes, Timbaland, Swizz Beats, Kanye, Just Blaze. And around that time, you know, Nas was just working with his regular guys, you know, Salam Remy, L.E.S. He wasn't necessarily chasing producers that like rap marks had designs on him working with. Everyone wants the Nas and Primo album. Everyone fantasy booked Nas to death and they put these albums like on a pedestal, like, oh, he's dropping a new album. Hope he's got Large Professor on there again. Hope he's got Primo. Him and Pete Rock will get back. Anyone who was on Illmatic, if they're not back, <laughs> it was a failure. It was a mistake. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. I don't agree with it. People people have just overplayed their hand with this Nas picks bad beats thing, and now I'm pushing back. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> now, granted, this is not the best album to make that case. This album is probably the worst selection of beats he ever picked for an album. But I'm making the case, okay? If this Look, is the worst album of beats he ever selected, then he's not that bad at selecting beats. I'm, I'm, I'm hitting the drop. And everybody all these years has been scared to step forward. Now come forward. Okay. That's this right. And you know what? Hit my boy the whale, too. <laughs> When you when you say Nas has a bad ear for beats and you put him in the category of this guy is one of the historical failures when it comes to picking beats for his albums, I need you to do one thing for me. Think about the truth of your argument. That's right. Listen, I'm going to have to agree with Mules here. Now, obviously, I'm less versed in Nas catalog. Is you, but the things I've is heard... he as good of a beat selector as Jay Z? No, end of story. That's we can move on from that now. But is he like a chronic bad beat selector? I don't think so. This I don't agree. Thing. That was a narrative. Royce to five I nine heard. is a chronic bad beat selector. Huh. <laughs> well, hey, the guy we're doing next week, you always tell me that that's the guy who they're Lupe really fiasco about. is has one of the worst ears for beats. Ever. It's getting better again. It started good, but man, oh man. I mean, we're going to talk a lot next week about these beats that he jumped on, but right now it's time for that Nostradamus, you know? Well, and I'm th just, this is, this I'm, is I'm, I'm drawing the line in the sand, all right? Nas, I'm even going to go as far as to say I like the beats Nas picks. <laughs> Those are facts. Print that. Tweet that. I'm tired of the false narrative. Okay. We're here. I'm fired up. Because here's the thing. I agree with you. Everything I've heard after having that narrative drilled into my head before diving into Nas' catalog, I was listening, waiting on these bad beats, and like they never came. And I'm like, what are they talking about? These are fine. No, like, this is not everything this, is this knocked is the out extent the park, of them. But like, now, not to say that, like I said, there's questionable beats on I Am. There's questionable beats on Stillmatic. I mean, there's questionable beats for sure. But who isn't guilty of picking questionable beats? You can't hit him. You can't. You can't shoot a hundred percent on beats. Every rapper know? I like has jumped on a couple beats, and I'm like, "What the fuck were they thinking by jumping on this?" You know? Yeah, picking the right beat every time is impossible. You know, and 
you know, it, it, based on how you're making it sound, it sounds like Nas just people didn't get Nas over it with the producers they wanted rather than him yeah, actually exactly. picking bad beats, and it seems. Not only that, uh, yeah, people were like, oh, so-and-so was right there. No, they weren't. These people were here and they were making music with Nas. And, okay. and some of that music was good, by the way. But, you know, Nas, to me, takes at least some interesting swings. People say, oh, Rick Ross has one of the best ears for beats in the game. Yeah, for picking the same beat a hundred times. Yeah, I was really going to say, like, yeah, he gets good beats, but at this point, we know what to expect. I'm bored. I know He doesn't what to have expect. a diverse ear, I don't think. Yes. He has a and good Nas ear for what works has for wrapped him. over, like, every kind of record at this point. Like, he's tried out so many things. A lot of those swings have been misses, but yeah. I respect someone who's going to do something different and you know we get to a song in the album oh this is that song bro this is the one where he's doing that thing and with rick ross we just did him last week so he's fresh in my mind it's like luxury rap rick ross song sometimes about a woman like trap rick ross song and then you know just like the kind of in between of that look there's and it something doesn't to be- really it doesn't really go past that. There's something to be said for an artist knowing what works for them. I'd rather they know that and pick the same beat over and over than not know and, and not pick things that, that mess with them. But after a certain point, it's like, yeah, I mean, we know what to expect from Ross. So yeah, he's picked stuff that's good for him, but you heard one, you heard them all. It's like I was saying about a lot of that luxury stuff uh, last week, but it's funny you say that. Cause in this very song, Nas is like, you know, gold bathtubs, making love to my queen, getting my back rubbed, Chardonnay, rolling up green, statues. Yeah, that's that OG. Well, not really I said, OG, I thought Ross was last week. <laughs> like, this is kind of luxury. Right, but that's you know? kind of the Nas, like, channeling kind of cool G rap. Like, you know, that mafioso, braggadocio, luxury style, you know? Yeah. You know, and I mean, I like it for the record. It's not a problem. I do, too. You know? Yeah. It, it's and cool. I like the yeah. second verse, too, that, like you know, kind of goes in a more emotional place. It's less stylistic. It's less of a bar out. He's asking a bunch of questions. The real but questions. I found that, okay. like, you know, yeah, I found that the content was actually more grounded and had that emotional resonance that the first verse lacked. I like the rapping on here quite a bit. I'm somewhat indifferent on the chorus, kind of wordy. And Nas can work with a wordy chorus. It doesn't bother me, but it's not something I'm feeling is especially memorable. But yeah, all the rapping here is good. I love how he opens verse one, gold bathtubs, making love to my queen, getting my back rubbed, Chardonnay, rolling up my green, statues, marble floors, rare paintings on my wall. My lifestyle is like the Forbes magazine, closets full of rockets and submachines. And then how he ends that verse, dump drugs and acid. Then they rush you with the Rico. It's hard fucking with redactors you hope you can trust. You a fool if your main bitch is easy to fuck. And if you got money, is he so as greedy or what? Shit is devious. Ex-friends wanting you stuck. He is painting them them HD pictures. Oh, oh, you know, like, and and that's what he's good at. Like, yeah, I mean, something in the programming is letting him down, though. That's see, my that's my take, really. That's here's I'm the thing. I like off the every beat. time that kind of glitch feel comes in. I like the beat. I like the sample. It's yeah. The only issue I have with it is the programming. Because right, there's a sort of like stutter. Like somebody hit the DJ. I had to double check my copy and make sure I just didn't have a copy that someone ripped with like, like a scratch CD. Right. Yeah. But you know, I'm I'm a fan of the beat, <clears throat> despite the the odd programming. I agree with you about the chorus. You know, it's not a bad one. It's not a special one. It does its job between verses. So I'm not. It's a chorus. It. It's a chorus. Right. You know, like it does. A, it carries me to the next verse. Very nineties East Coast kind of wordy rap chorus. Word. You know, we we do have more we um, on it. You know, archival here though. Two other instances that same sample was flipped. Okay. And better flips for what it's worth. Oh, better we'll songs, eh, but the beats themselves. This is not a good beat, unfortunately. Like. The sampling is good, but he fucked it up in the programming of it all and the arrangement. (laughs) I like L.E.S. I just defended L.E.S., but this ain't no good L.E.S. beat. Okay. What about my main man, Smoke Dizza? What about him? We got First Class featuring Big Crit and Big Sant. 
And it samples that uh, Peace Fugue. Oh, Peace Peace Fugue. Okay. Well, uh, <clears throat> let's, let's listen to uh, Smoke Dizzo. Uh, we know about Big Crit. And uh, shout out to Big Saint. Here we go. First class. Song with pay to see, never go but pray to be. Exit roll on the low, bargain in the chain they see. Complaining to me about the need that they've been on for weeks. Is you sucking? Are you fucking well? Cause this ain't just a glass house. 30,000 feet in the air, I hate to kick your ass out. Fly until we pass out. Something you should save us. Cause if we ain't the best, then it's clear we the greatest. Welcome to first class. Totally different. I, I prefer Nas. I prefer Nas. I prefer, yeah, I prefer Nas. I don't prefer the beat, though. Well, I prefer LES, too. That's what I mean. Yeah. No, I, 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 he's still the champ for me, LES. That wasn't bad, but. Well, your main man, Raekwon, could possibly oh. change your mind here off of his. What's the name of this fucking mixtape? He has too many projects now. He went from not having enough to having way too many. <laughs> what, is what is this it, like uh, rare emeralds or something lost jewelry and he lost didn't jewelry. jewelry there you right. go okay um hey that's no business of mine okay oh man all right uh well this is whatever I'm whenever with... oh brother uh this better be as good as the maxwell song okay whenever i was thinking whenever, of the shakira whenever whenever, whenever <laughs> we'll always be together no i was just saying Shakira, okay. Shout out to her. She's cool. Shakira, She's cool. Shakira, Shakira, Shakira. That's right. Oh, baby, when you talk like that. <laughs> <What is it? laughs> All right, this is Rayquan. Yeah, fly shit, man. Word up, man. It's that old motherfucking laid back and leaning back on that good old alpaca in the back of the vehicle and shit. Counting up motherfuckers, 68,000 Two motherfucking vests on the floor Got man reef in the ashtray Police cut 17 cars away You already know, man, shit is real up the on the Harley leather, sheepskin gloves, my Beretta About to hit the ghetto, hard body, bring the kettle Niggas is drinking and gambling All you see is hammers in my corner Champion sweats, hoes in pajamas 750 new blue, this is my lady She stay playing suits, mad cute 2380s and a cousin, a police who live in the east I know I'm from the fifth grade, he different, that's a beast A thug smuggling cop who live in the hood Plus he rock a lot of car hard Brave hard, die hard, the day I seen him was and still, ain't no and still, my champion, and still, my main man, Raekwon, oh. aka the chef, oh. aka the champ. Oh, this is a classic, like two refs. Like I'm holding up Les's and Nas's hands. You're messing with who produced this, Raekwon? Who is this? Uh, Whoever Jimmy produced producer. that. <laughs> yeah, him and Raekwon. All right. Uh, well, hey, you know. <laughs> well, wow, screw job for the ages, huh? <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, look, I'm 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 a fan of this beat. Weird programming, but it doesn't ruin it for me. Um, and yeah, Nas is great on here. It de- it's the only thing holding me back. And I like yeah. the sample. There's, you know, so little holding me back. It's just something's off. All right, well, that's fair. That's fair. Um, Every time I try to leave, keeps holding me back, back, back <laughs> you know? Who, who that? Uh, who's who's, who's saying? I'm, I'm drawing a blank here. I'm actually drawing a blank as well. <laughs> who the Wait, fuck is that, that shit? Is that Bow Wow? Oh, like, it is. Me, me back, me back. It is. It's Bow Wow. Is it Bow Wow? I think Wait, no. So. Wait, this, I think it's Chingy featuring Tyrese. Oh, same shit. Ching- All right. <laughs> <laughs> Chingy and, and, and Bow Wow, I feel like, yeah, they're they're in the same realm, maybe. 
<laughs> Chingy's better, okay? He's working with DJ Quick, and he's not even from the West Coast, so I don't know what Bow Wow is doing. Oh, man. Well, uh... <laughs> yeah, uh, in the case of this being uh, Chingy and Tyrese instead of Bow Wow, uh, whatever. <laughs> it is what it is, I guess. The um, thing about holding me back is it's just a song. <laughs> yeah. Is that even what it's called? It's pulling me back? Uh yeah, I think I think pulling me back. Pulling me back, okay. Yeah. With the with the uh, apostrophe. Pulling. Pulling me back. Yeah. Pulling um, P. Is it pulling P? <laughs> It's pushing P and there's pulling P. Okay, everyone's sure been pushing it so long. We need, you know, you need to do some pulling too. Oh man, I mean, it depends on your technique, but we don't need to get. I guess that's there. edging, right? Pulling P. Ah, uh, maybe, maybe. Once you finally push it, you know. <laughs> push it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that edging, it's it's not for me because like I don't have that kind of privacy to be just like taking my time. So after a while, it's just like push the goddamn button. <laughs> okay, you gotta push it. You gotta be done and move on to something else. I gotta get back to editing rap or whatever. It's just can't be doing. Look, edging, unless we're right? talking about edging Christian, I don't care about no edging. All right, right. The the classic is <laughs> the classic joke. <laughs> Um, yeah, listen, you already talked about it. Second verse is a perfect verse alert for me. You know, all this like, what's love? That's a good verse alert. I like the balance between verse one and two. Kind of gives you all you want from a song, you know? Okay. All right. There's something for everyone, right? Yeah. He's asking the good question. Everyone. (laughs) Exactly. Okay. It's it's a little something for everyone, but this is the thing, man. I don't want to quote the whole thing because, like I said, it's a perfect verse alert. But just listen to it, folks. He's asking the real questions. All right, what's real? What's love? What's trust? All of it. All right. I got maybe, a question. Maybe. Okay. What's the Molly Zone? Ooh, well, the Molly Zone is the best newsletter going today. All right. Yeah. And I'll tell you what else. The Molly Zone hosted an interview with the, the, the two knuckleheads you're listening to right now, Mules and Mel of Rap Rankings. And I was telling Mules on the phone, bro, this, this is this is the new definitive piece of press for Rap Rank. She nailed it, bro. She nailed it. I feel like this is the perfect representation of the show, okay? She put the, the quips, the, the, the YouTube, she put that in the article, okay? You she, gotta fucking love it. Uh, you gotta listen. I'm not Friend just the saying show, this. You know, you remember her from the Get Rich or Die Trying soundtrack uh, film review, actually. That's right. That season. Molly mm-hmm. Mary O'Brien asked us to come on the Molly Zone. And we advise you to go and subscribe to this newsletter. Go read the Mules and Mel interview. It was a doozy. Okay? It was a, we don't it do was interviews. A it was a doozy. All right. And I just... I've been. T- this is not cat for the record. I've been telling Mules. I'm like, listen. If if the world was more like Molly Mary, the professionalism, the integrity, the 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 the, the design, the, we would be living in a utopia. I felt. I felt I, I'm like saying, that was the only thing missing from this verse. Now I should have said, what is the Molly Zone? <laughs> I should have taken that transition from the Woo season to wow, March 10th, 2023. What's the Molly Zone? It's when you properly represent it. Okay, it would have been, it would have been amazing. Okay, now nah, let's get back in the booth. They could get back in there <laughs> and add a so verse. We want to give a special shout out to Molly and to the Molly Zone. Go subscribe, read the Mules and Mel interview, Please and uh, look. This is the life we chose: extreme podcasting. I'm gonna say it now in case I forget, because uh, you know, word word and what's it coming down the pipeline? The the grapevine, right? I guess also coming down the pipeline. She'll be appearing soon again. And then I, I, I don't want to forget. So we were saying on the phone, listen, if you're listening, Molly Mary, you a real soulful dude. Okay. <laughs> you really are. I, that is, I, oh yeah, this is what I'm going to say. No cat, it's a 10. Okay. It's a 10. It's a 10 interview. I really appreciated it. You know, it was a Mel Connect. <laughs> so 10. <laughs> The only interview I've ever done... Now, keep in mind, the only other times I've been interviewed is when I was making music, so... 
part. I'll say because uh, I'm not making music anymore is the only coherent interview I've ever done and the only interview I've ever done where I'm not acting like a complete fucking idiot. <laughs> you know? Look, I don't want to turn this into interview rankings, but shout out to all the great interviews. I mean, Maui Mary, great interview. Uh, shout out to my uh, my high school, my, 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 my homie from high school, Melina. She goes like Archie Anderson now. Great interview when I was Pizza Boy. KCOU at Missouri University, great interview. Okay? But I've had some bad ones. Oh, I, I'm not saying the <laughs> interviews were bad. I'm saying, you know, the line between fantasy and reality can often be blurred <laughs> when you're dealing with the you know, uh, you know, an artist and an entertainment vehicle, but you know, this is something different. This well, is listen, you, said- now, <laughs> you know, fourth wall style telling you, you know, what it's really like to do this extreme podcasting. Listen, we was in there. We was getting, we was, we was attacking them questions. Okay. She was, she was filled in the, we were fielding the great questions you know, and we connect on a 10, so I'm hitting this drop. Black boy, white boy, black boy, white boy, black boy, white boy. Okay, we connect, and the thing is, folks, all right, we both, Mules and I, have had some bad interviews in the past, okay? And... I did? So, sometimes the interviewers are bad, okay? I had a college uh, roommate, I don't want to get what? into it. <laughs> you know what? Now that you mention but, it, I re- <laughs> we have had a bad interview before. Actually, well, yeah. this isn't the first non. Right. Okay. Well, I, yeah, this, this is, is the, this what I want to say. Sometimes this the is the first is bad. good Rab interview we've done as Rab. This is our second interview, as it turns out. I, I just want to say sometimes, though, I blame myself. Like, I've, I've buried myself in interviews before, you know? And that always sucks when it's your fault. Like, when, when you just said or did some shit that was stupid. Now, you know? oddly enough, this bad interview with us has been, like, delisted, so oh. you can't hear it. Uh, well, listen. Uh, <laughs> anytime I've been a bad interview, what, 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 my, uh, my, what, what my boys Jake and Amir say, bad interview? No, bad you, okay? It's been bad me before, all right? So I've had it both it's ways, been, but it's listen. Been, it's been bad me. The, the time you're referring to, though, it was the only time I could say I had a bad interviewer. Okay. Well, I'll blame me too. <laughs> I, Wait, I, conversations I, is still up, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Never mind. The vi- it's still out. Uh, which which well, hold on. Conver- uh, 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 you gonna make me go? All right, we we're never gonna do this right now because I don't want to bury nobody on air. I don't know if we're thinking about the same interview, but uh, no, we are. I was just trolling you. I was making you. Oh, think okay. That I was. I was. That I thought the worst interviewer was you. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, anyway, uh, listen, interviews consist of questions. Just like this second verse. That's perfect to me. All right. And maybe, uh, what's, what's, what, maybe my, what's my favorite question in the verse? Cause I'm not going to quote the whole, the whole thing. All right. It's just, I, I don't know. It, it, it's perfect. It's all good. All right. I can't, I don't want to single out a question here. All right. In classic male fashion, I'll say this. What's lust? A bust nut? <laughs> okay, not the best question, but hey, it's a great question and it fits my lifestyle. Okay, listen to this verse, folks. It's a perfect one. All right, and it made me feel things. Yeah, flat seven on this record. Flat seven. So far, I'm not hearing this bad album that I was told about. Yeah, we're only two tracks in, but well, we know. know about you. You thought Elmatic was trash, and you think this is a class. Tra- That's the Elmatic narrative. Tra- I like animal. half of the songs. Okay, right. And you set this up with that Portraits of Tracy. This is like a long-running oh setup. Oh, my God. No, this is not. All right. Listen. All I can say is, all right, Nostradamus, so far, so good. Two for two. Nas is not a bad beat selector, okay? And everybody all Wait. these years has been the scared no. to step forward. Why are you playing that again? <laughs> who, is it? who is it? Who even is that man? I don't remember who that man is. <laughs> Sounds like Phil Donahue, maybe. Oh yeah, yeah. I feel like anyway. <laughs> that ain't what I this this I gotta stop trusting this number pad. This this is what I'm looking for. Now control that narrative, you asshole. <laughs> How the hell are you How turn, do I turn this, this shit thing? off? <laughs> yeah, I really turn this off. Okay. Yeah. Nas is the good beat man, all right? Now that's all I gotta say about that. All right. You got anything else? This is the life we chose. 
Oh, oh, wait, I do have one other thing, okay? Um, <laughs> when he said, uh, what do he say? They never know we enemies until they hear me say it to their kids on the phone saying, please, daddy, pay it. So they brains on the floor, mix on the pavement, high class elegance. You respect or you piss or you, or you hiss, I guess. You go against, you rather piss on an electrical fence. All I got to say is to Cal 2000 review out now on Patreon. Light socket mail. Yes. Okay? Exactly. <laughs> I connect to that line because I pissed A Patreon classic. A that Patreon classic. The, maybe the first Patreon classic. The Takal 2000 review. Okay. Pissing and, and, and electricity, I know all about it. So I heard that beautiful on. bliss. I got to say, I was spitting. No. Well, hey, if people on YouTube agree, they, they agree with mules. Okay. They said you were spitting. <laughs> opinions is opinions, you know? You want to move on? Yeah. Fuck it. Okay. Yo, it's Mel from Rap Rankings. To hear the full episode this clip comes from and all the other episodes, stop by raprankings.com or search Rap Rankings on your favorite podcast platform.